Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We have been meditating about the cross and the great exchange that has been brought to you and I with the reality of the great exchange um, because of the cross. Uh, you know, the whole humanity is hurting uh, with physical pain, emotional pain, but the Lord is offering something better. Uh, he's offering something better is, and what He is exchanging uh, uh, what he's offering on this great exchange is something that is good for us, something that improves our lives, something that transforms us and changes us and in fact changes our destiny. So one of the things that he's offering in this great exchange is healing in place of pain. Healing in place of pain. The cross is the place where the Lord Jesus, he carried our sickness He carried our pains. The Bible talks about it in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4. It says, Surely He has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And the Hebrew word for griefs is sickness. And the Hebrew word for sorrow is pain. So which means He carried our sickness and He carried our pain. Why did He do that? He carried it. In fact, the Hebrew Hebrew rendering of it is that he carried it so that he could carry it away. So he carried it so that we do not have to carry it. He carried it so that in the place of pain, that in the place of sickness, that we could walk in healing and health and wholeness. Now, this healing is in all realms, you know, spiritually and emotionally and physically. Now, many most times we look at the spiritual aspect of it and, you know, we look at the aspect of uh, forgiveness. But the Lord is extending it, uh, the cross declares it in all realms, emotionally and physically as well. So what was prophesied in Isaiah 53 verses 3, 4 and 5, we see the fulfillment of it in the life and ministry of the Lord Jesus. When he touched and healed people, the, the, the gospel writer Matthew, he, he testifies in Matthew chapter 8 and he says, you know, he did this so that it might be fulfilled about what Isaiah wrote. So he did this so that it might be fulfilled. So in, in effect, he was saying that he's going about healing, but he's going to do something on the cross. He's going to take our sickness and our pain on the cross. And in 1 Peter chapter 2 and 24, we see the fulfillment of it where the Apostle Peter points to the cross and what has already happened on the cross. And he says that, verse 24, it says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the cross, on the tree, that we having died to sins might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Right? So today, you can, you and I, we have this access by grace through faith to walk in healing, to walk in divine health, to exchange all the symptoms of sickness, whether it is emotional oppression or, um, you know, something spiritually we are feeling oppressed or it could be physical symptoms of sickness or disease. So we have this opportunity, we have this privilege to go before the Lord and, and exchange, in exchange for it, receive healing, total healing and wholeness. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that you give us this opportunity, God. We thank you for the cross which gives us this exchange of healing in place of pain. And today we come before you as people who need this healing in our lives, whether it be our emotions, whether it be, Lord, our physical needs, God. We come before you and we pray, Lord, that you will heal us today, that we declare that by your stripes, We are indeed healed and we choose to walk in divine health and healing. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.